Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity multiplayer tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to implement authentication to your multiplayer game so that your users can create accounts and sign in to play your game. Hope you're looking forward to it, so let's get started. But just before we jump into it, I'd like to mention that only 23% of people who are watching are actually subscribed to the channel, so if you want a quick and easy way to help support the channel for free, go down below, hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. So I'll be continuing here from what we had in the previous tutorial, where we have logging in with a simple custom ID, and the code is nothing more than this really. We just sign in with an ID, which is a string, and then if it doesn't already exist, we create a new account, and then we get back a session ticket that we store, and then when we log into the actual mirror server, we send that session ticket, and the server will validate it. But right now, we're signing in with just an ID, just a string, and it could be anything. If I guessed yours, then I've got access to your account, so it's not very secure, and it's not very realistic in how most games would work. So we want to look at how we can add usernames, passwords, and emails. So if we jump back into Unity, if we look over here, uh, the one thing I've created between the last video and this one to save us some time is just some really simple UI. If we open this up, all it is is a canvas with a background to cover up the actual game. And we have some labels, just that say username, email, password, and then some input fields for the username, email, and password, just text mesh pro input fields. And then we have two buttons, a create account button and a sign in button. And none of this is hooked up yet. And none of the input fields are hooked up to anything either. So if you're wanting to follow along, just make a really simple user interface like this. So now let's jump into the code. If we look over here, we currently just have the custom ID. So we want to change this now to be using actual input fields. So we'll change the string to be a TMP underscore input field. And we'll call this the username input field. And then I will hit control period here, control dot and add using TM pro. And I'll copy paste this line two more times so that we can have the username input field, the email input field and the password input field. Once we've signed in, we also want to turn off the UI. So we'll add here a serialized field private game object that we can turn off. And we'll just call this the sign in display. We then also don't want to just sign in by default on start so we can get rid of this. And we don't need these methods we have from last time. So we go down to this. And we now want two methods we can call by those buttons, one for creating an account and one for signing in. So public void create account and public void sign in. Let's head back into Unity and hook those up now. So we'll go over to the Playfab login and we now want to drag in the canvas, which is the UI will toggle on and off. Then the input fields for the username, the email and password. And if we go to the buttons, the create account button will add a callback, drag in the script and we'll call Playfab login and this one's the create account button. And for the other one, we'll call Playfab login, sign in. The one other thing I changed up here is if you go to the password input field, because you don't want it to actually display someone's password, you want it to show the asterisks. Then if you scroll down, we have here content type and I've changed it to password, which will hide the actual characters themselves. So back into VS Code, and we now want to start writing the method for creating an account. And it's actually super duper simple. All we need to do is call Playfab Client API dot, and we'll be registering a Playfab user. So what this takes in is if we type new, it'll fill it in for us, a register Playfab user request. And we'll do the usual result callback, and then comma the error callback, like how we've done it previously. And this is also how it will be in sign in. So I'm going to copy paste this to sign in. But instead of register Playfab user, we'll be doing login with Playfab. And then the request is a login with Playfab request. And then up here in the request, we want to pass in the username. So the username for registering this player is username input field text. The email is email input field text as you'd expect and obviously for password password input field text the result is when we successfully register someone what we want to do is set the session ticket so session ticket equals result.session ticket that it gives us 
And then we want to turn off the UI. So the sign in display dot set active false. And if there's an error, we'll log it to the console. So debug dot log error. And from the error, we can generate an error report. So this is very similar to previous videos. It should be pretty easy to follow along if you've seen those. So we're saying register a user with these details. If it works, do this. If it doesn't work, do this. And then for signing in, you technically have two options here. You can log in with Playfab or log in with email. It's really up to you. I'm just going to go with Playfab. And what that means is basically log in with username. So it means that when you log in, you don't have to supply your email every time. So we'll say here username equals username input field dot text. And we want to pass in the password, password input field dot text. But we don't need the email this time. Then result when it works, we want to do the same as up here. We just store the uh, session ticket it gives us and turn off the UI. And if there's an error, we want to log the error. Let's jump back into Unity. And now I'll hit play. If I type in a username, let's make a new account called Dapper Dino. And I'll give the email of Nathan at dapperdino.co.uk. And the password, I'll make something really simple that I remember, like ABC123. And I'll hit create account. And there's a delay, and then it comes back to me because it's made the account. And if we go to the browser and we update this list, we should have one player. We can go onto it, and you'll see username Dapper Dino. The email there is Nathan at Dapper Dino, and I have an account now. If we go back into Unity and stop and start again, what happens if I type in, let's say, a random username with a random password? Let's look at the console. If I try and sign in, it tells you the user was not found. If I type in the correct username and try and sign in, it tells us invalid username or password, meaning the user does exist, but the password's wrong. Then if I type in the right password and hit sign in, it then works. So what I'll do now is I'll do a build. And what we can then do when we've built is make two accounts, sign in to different accounts on each build, and then play the game and see if the score still counts like it did previously. So on the build over here, I'll make a new account. I'll call it not Nathan, and the email can just be uh, not Nathan at dapperdino.co.uk, which isn't a real email. But in a future video, we can actually work on having email verification. So when you create your account, you've got to verify your email before you can play, and then. On password, I'll just use the same password, ABC123, create an account. And then we'll go over here and I'll sign in to the other account. So let's hit play. Username is Dapper Dino with a password of ABC123, sign in. And then if we were to host and join as a client and play the game, let's say I get some score. So I'm going to try and get a few points here. Okay, I'll go get maybe three points. Then over here, I'll get two. So we know that the uh, Dapper Dino account has two points. Let's stop hosting. Okay, and what I can do is I can stop the build and I'll quickly go and open that back up again. Because what we can do now is we can show this definitely works if I go to the build restart here. I'm now going to sign in on the other build with the other account and see if these scores swap around. So in here now, it's going to be uh, not Nathan and the password's ABC123. And over here, the username is Dapper Dino and the password is ABC123. So now if I was to say host here, I have three points. And if I was to go client here, I have two points and we can continue to play the game like so. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. We now have authentication. And if you want more on this, where we can sign in with different providers, or we can add, you know, password checking, email authentication, you know, all these different things we can add if you want to do that. Let me know down below. If you like the video, then please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. Special thanks to Francisco Lira, Liz Kimber, Andrew Williams, Beard or Die, Benjamin Hilda, Chris Diplock, David McDermott, Jake Nixon, Yoris Letter, Joseph Murphy, Herza, Katinkamom, Mike Troop, Sam Marcus, Malvin, and Rack. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. 
If not, there are also links down below to other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help us out by following on any of those or checking any of those out, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks always for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.